Is it jank? Wrestling edition. We're bringing some new stuff at you. So yeah, we're doing Is It Jank on AEW Fight Forever. And this is a game that was provided to us by THC, not THC. THQ. No, no. THQ. <laughs> Brand new joint. THQ gave us an early copy. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're doing. On Is It Jank, we go over a few things. We go over graphics, we go over sound, we go over play control. Storyline, yeah. pros and cons. All that good stuff. I'm not a person that knows wrestling that well. These guys are more, especially this, this guy here. Near and dear to my heart. And I gotta say, this is hot for dub I mean, uh, this is their first game. And, uh, you know, this, is, this could be huge for them. I'm really looking forward to this. Cool. Well, we've played it. <laughs> yeah. So the graphics here are... Well, I'll let you guys start because I think I might have a controversial opinion on this one. It's a bit of a mixed bag, I suppose. Uh, you know, the character profiles, the you know, they look like the wrestlers, so they did a good job at that. I thought the, the the crowd looks good, although you could use you know more of them. I like what they tried to do here, where they each person is different in the crowd. You could tell where they kind of did some shadowing, uh, so that they didn't have to have you know as many fans as would normally be at like a. You know, AEW, man. I'm just not like they're lightly attended or anything. They, they they usually sell out wherever they're going, so. Yeah, usually it's like a cast of a thousand people in the crowd, and, and this looks like a cast of like 30. Yeah. Right, like <laughs> almost like uh, right after or like right in a pandemic, <laughs> you know, where they try to do a crowd during yeah. the pandemic. Yeah, it almost looks like a, an indie event, indie wrestling. If you've ever been to one of those, there's just a handful of people in there. What do you think of the graphics? I think they're all right. I mean, they're not great, but uh, they do. The wrestlers do look like they do in real life. The graphics are a little misleading at first. You think, oh, it's not so good, and then you you know you kind of play the game a little bit, and you're like, hey, these graphics are better than I thought. You know what they feel a little bit to me like? That feels like uh, maybe this game was made for PS4, and then it just took a while to get across the finish line, and so then they had to see how it would fly on PS5, and or all, all the, the new systems, you know. Maybe to its detriment, I don't know, but I've definitely seen worse. I mean, I, I think that they're kind of cartoony. It's weird because they walk this weird balance of cartoon graphics and realistic graphics. So sometimes you're watching and you're like, oh, this is really cartoony. And other times you're like, oh, this looks more real now. So I, it's one of these weird things where you're like, it's a little off-putting sometimes, but on the other hand, it's AEW Wrestling. It doesn't have to be super awesome graphics either. But if you're comparing it to like the WWE games, then it, the graphics maybe are paling in comparison. But will that make it jank? I don't know. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. And then uh, the sound. I think the sound was fine. Yeah, it was great. There's a, no complaints on the sound. No. Sound, sound was good, I think. Sound was good. The crowd, I like the, the way the interaction of the crowd. The sound effects, when you when you throw someone on the mat's good. Mm -hmm. I think they nailed it on the sound. I think they did all right. I'll, I'll, I will take it back a little bit, because one, I think that they lacked a little bit in... There's parts where the wrestlers are speaking to each other. Like, sometimes... You can hear what they're saying, and other times there's just no sound there, and they're just talking to nothing. And I think that was a missed opportunity where they could have had at least some speech in there. That's true, and I thought the, the Jim Ross uh, voiceover was kind of weak. They didn't nail his cadence. If you close your eyes, I mean, yeah, you can. it's like, yeah, it sounds like him, but it just doesn't have the snap. Was it not him actually doing it? It sounded like him. It just seemed like... Like he was phoning it in? Either they was, he was phoning it in, or they kind of either cut and paste the words to make something or they it just didn't seem like his cadence right. it just seemed like he he was just reading off of a script or something feels like he's in the kitchen making a bowl of cereal or something <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's get to an important one with wrestling games and that's play control you know doing the moves and stuff like that i didn't think was was too difficult uh i did think that walking in general trying to get to another wrestler or something like that seems slower than it should be it does feel like walking through molasses or something. Yeah, it feels like, you know, I've been playing a lot of Zelda, and it feels like you, your wrestler is like, you ran out of stamina. And it's like, so while the stamina is recharging, yeah. you know, your wrestler is just kind of going slow motion, you know. Yeah. And they might do that to give weight to the wrestlers, maybe, but it does feel maybe like you could go faster. Yeah. And then there's a mini game though, where... You're collecting these chips, right? And you start speeding around the ring, and it feels actually really good. Yeah, and it's almost chaotic. You know, if you had that 
speed dynamic in the ring in a regular match, you could have something there. I thought the controls were, uh, they're decent. The facing different wrestlers, that kind of, <laughs> that's kind of confusing. I love you. you know, you're trying to press a dang button. It won't, it won't turn. I uh, haven't figured out everything yet, uh, you know, all the specials and the signature moves, but uh, I definitely think this is a, a game that can be uh, learned pretty easy. I, I will agree with you there on the controls. I think that there's not that many to learn. So once you get down the basics, you pretty much have the game down. I think that the problem with you facing the wrestlers was you have to push in on, on the L button, and I don't think you realize how to do that. Once you learn that, then it'll be easy. Like any wrestling game, it's like you got to get past the learning curve first, and then you can really play the game really well. Exactly. You know, compared to like the, the 2K series, you know, this is a good weekender, you know, where you, you're going to get the controls down pretty well but on Friday. And then, you know, uh, by Saturday night, you know, you're rocking and rolling yep. and uh, could really could really do some damage in this thing yeah. and, you know, have a good time. You know, that kind of brings us into the, the story. What is the story of this? So it just seems like uh, your normal story mode uh, that most wrestling games have these days where you're starting it out and you're making a name for yourself. It takes you through different pay-per-views and things like that. That puts you on a tag team match and it puts you into a battle royale. Or... There's a few weird dynamics like... Dining, like your diet, <laughs> yeah. plays plays a role in 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 keeping your batteries charged, yeah. and like the mini games and the uh, the workouts and things like that are, are a little different. It breaks up the monotony, I think. It does. I suppose so. I suppose so. It's kind of a role playing element, like mm -hmm. an RPG element to it. Yeah. A little bit. It seemed pretty varied as far as like the different matches along the storyline. The first one you started out, it's like a uh, what's the match called where you everybody's all in? That's a casino royale. And then it went to just like a one-on-one, -on -one, then a tag team. It's kind of interesting yeah. how it keeps it flowing. As you go to like work out, you meet a different wrestler every time, and you meet different waitresses in every city you go to <laughs> for the food. Keeps things interesting. Basically, the storyline is uh, on the road to Elite, and that's what all Elite Wrestling is about, you know, the Elite. What about the different matches? The electric barbed wire match? That match in itself is amazing. I mean, I had never seen anything like it. It's crazy. I liked how the graphics were in that with the blood. There's a lot of blood in that, which is kind of cool. Yes. And then they'll show replays of just sparks flying everywhere. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. This game did capture the, the unique feel of AEW. So what makes this game different? What sets this game apart from other wrestling games? I'd say the mini games and all the different things you can do in it. I've never seen anything where you uh, you go eat somewhere or you uh, you're at the airport. I think the wrestlers themselves, the, the roster, makes this different. I did want to talk about the uh, create a character. Oh, yeah. I hope with some more time in it and maybe unlockables, there's yes. more to do because it's not very customizable as yeah. is. If your character, you can have like a, like, what is there, like seven different faces yes. you can choose from. Yeah. You can't customize those. There's just not enough yeah. there yeah. To, to make the customizable character yeah. feel like it's your really your own creation yeah i mean all these all these wrestling games are, are kind of they all have a similar format these days so it's more about what buttons do moves how difficult are they to do moves i mean we've seen the 2k games move into more of an easier move dynamic with the buttons just because doing these crazy button combinations for moves is nonsense in these wrestling games oh yeah and so then it just comes down to roster the different match types speaking of roster who's your favorite wrestler that's in this the other one I know is Sting, because I'm so much of a noob with wrestling. I mean, seeing Sting in there is good. Oh, yeah. uh, Jericho being in there is good. Yeah. Uh, Kenny Omega, of course. All the people you'd expect from AEW. You mm -hmm. know, Moxley's in there, and yep. Christian, and Orange Cassidy. Of course, Hangman Page, that's my guy. So, I mean, they did a good job as far as having a lot of the roster. I mean, I suppose that's where AEW kind of separates himself from WWE is the the roster is just gigantic. There's a bit of a blurred line in there as far as the talent level. You know, WWE, there's like this top tier and then, you know, you can already tell like the bottom tier and then like the, the jobbers and stuff. It's it's very defined almost. Yeah. AEW, is, they've really blurred the lines a lot. You can tell that in this roster where it's it's top to bottom. It's just solid all the way through. Too much. You think the roster in this is too much? I just, I just think that in AEW, 
Yeah, the AEW roster has gotten bloated with so many shows that they do and everything. Yeah. But that would be a strength in this game in that this roster is gigantic compared to a lot of the WWE games. Yeah, oh yeah. Hmm. yeah. It's good. I just wish they had a better customizable thing. That's where the yeah. other one has over them. But It did seem to me like there was a lot of unlockable stuff in the Make Your Wrestler thing. Yeah, yeah. There might be more and there might be some... Uh, obviously, this game's going to have DLC. Probably DLC out the butt. Let's get to the question at hand. Is it jank? I don't think it is. I think this is a good first effort for AEW. As a first uh, effort, there's a lot to like here. Is it perfect? No. There's some things that could be improved on. If you're a fan of AEW, this is a great weekender because uh, you're going to get it down Friday and then Saturday you're going to be wherever you want to take this game. Well, I do think there's more than just a weekend's <clears throat> worth of fun in this, right? Like, there's uh, online play and stuff like that, oh, yeah. which will basically be perpetual for you. I don't think it's jank. Is it perfect? No. But it's a great first effort. No, it's definitely not jank. Like you said, it's not perfect. The right direction for AEW to go. I mean, this is their first game and sky's the limit for them. It's just going to get better and better. Dan B, what do you think? Okay, so this is coming from me who I'm a novice at wrestling games, right? I've played wrestling games a lot, but I don't know much about wrestling. So for me to come into this as someone who doesn't play these type of games often, do I think it's jank? No, I don't think it's Jake, but I think that it's bordering it for me. It's not Jake, right? It's not like it's unplayable and I'm not having any fun. I'm having fun with it. I enjoyed what I played with it. I've probably put like four hours into it total. I liked making the character. That takes like an hour right there. Even though making the character is not very, um, not very customizable, it's still fun. It's not Jake. No. If you're someone like me who doesn't really know about AEW, it's okay. There's still fun to be had here. What they did right with the customizable character is the names. There's a wide selection of names that you could use, and it'll announce you as that name. So that part of it's really good, and that would be easy to expand on in the DLC. Uh, <laughs> Can you imagine paying $3 to get your name said? As a <laughs> Tell me there wouldn't be people doing it, though. Oh, there would be. There would yeah. be a ton of people yeah. doing it. They would love that. They had presets where it was like, I could have Dan B. He had Evil Dan. Evil. So there's a lot of presets there for you to have a name. <laughs> All right, any final words? Good first effort. Very good first effort. I'm looking forward to what comes next. And we'll be streaming this, so if you guys are watching this now, I'm sure we'll stream it a few times after this. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below about this game. Let us know what you think. Do you think this game is jank? Do you think it's not jank? What do you think? We want to know. That. We'll see you next time on The Game Beaters. It's a jank edition. <laughs>